beauties, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today, and today is Foundation Friday. Okay, actually, it's not a foundation. It's a CC cream, but this CC cream is extra special because it actually matches my skin tone. I have reviewed one other CC cream before on my channel, which was by It Cosmetics, but even in that CC cream, I'm pretty sure like I'm deep, which is their darkest color, which is pretty crazy. So I'm really, really happy to say that I've finally found another CCC brand. CCC, that's too many C's. A CC cream that goes beyond my skin tone, which is by Thrive Cosmetics. Cosmetics, meaning C-A-U-S-E, because there's a cause behind this company. The owner, Carissa, lost her friend to cancer at the young age of 24, and ever since then, she really wanted to create a company that was based off of empowering women. So not only does she have a great collection of products, for every product that you buy, one is donated to another woman so that she can thrive. According to the website, they deliver their products and services to women experiencing cancer, homelessness, or domestic violence by giving to hospitals, organizations, and events around the world. If you are watching this video the day I uploaded it, it's currently October, which is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So this is now my second video about a product that is giving back to women dealing with cancer or just any type of hardship. And not only do I love the meaning behind this company, I love the shade range of their CC cream. They sent me six of their darkest shades and their lightest shade that they sent me is actually my skin color. So that was odd having CC creams that were too dark for me. Like that literally is not a thing. There's 18 shades in total. I have this little pamphlet here. And although there are only 18 shades, I think they did a very good job at breaking up the types of colors. So they have three fair shades, three still light shades, three medium beige shades, three brown shades, three rich shades, and three deep shades. So obviously there could be more colors, but for a starting lineup, I think they did a really good job at being one of the first CC creams to have darker options, like period. I know shade range is still a very heated topic, but I do want everyone to realize that not every brand is going to be able to make 40 shades. Not everybody has Fenty money like Rihanna just to create every color in the world. So I do think it's good to keep note of smaller brands that are just starting that are just gonna have an initial launch. And today I'm gonna swatch all six of the darker shades that were sent to me. This video is not sponsored, but I do love the shade range and I just love the message behind it, so I'm reviewing it anyways. So the Buildable Blur CC Cream has a broad spectrum SPF of 35, so that's good that it has SPF, but it is $38. I do think that's a little steep, especially because I can't even tell you a drugstore CC cream that has darker shades. So I think we literally only have this one. So <laughs> because it's our only option, guess we're gonna have to be cool with the price. This is one fluid ounce. It does have a pump, which is easy to dispense. So without further ado, let me show you exactly how I applied this CC cream to my face. All right, let's get started. First of all, you should always be doing your makeup while your hair is drying. That'll give your hair about 30 minutes of dry time before it's safe to diffuse, okay? It's a little pro hair tip for you. But I do have six colors of the Buildable Blur CC Cream. So I'm gonna actually swatch them all for you today because I have them, might as well. Starting off with the darkest shade in the collection as of now, which is Deep Espresso. I'm just gonna pump one pump on here. Ooh, that is rich. So let's just do it on my arm. So there is Deep Espresso. It's supposed to have a warm undertone. Next is Deep Cocoa with a neutral undertone. Cocoa has a neutral undertone. Rich Cocoa has a neutral undertone. Rich has a warm undertone. And last but not least is Rich Tan. and Rich Tan has a cool undertone. So here are the six darkest shades in the Thrive Cosmetics collection out of a total of 18 colors. Could they create more shades maybe between going from this to this instead of these types of jumps? Yes, of course, but for this first initial launch, I am just pleased that there's finally a CC cream in my shade. 
Okay, so let's start applying. I'm also going to be using the Thrive Cosmetics Beauty Blender they sent me. Apparently, this is supposed to absorb less makeup while serving up a streak-free finish. We're going to see about that. Uh, it's also latex-free, fragrance-free, cruelty-free, and vegan. I'm going to grab my color Rich Tan, the lightest one that they sent me. I'm going to apply it right on top. Let's do one good pump. Let's see how this looks. Look at that. Perfect match. So with this one pump, I prefer a little bit more coverage. So I'm going to already do another pump or two. And I'm going to kind of spread it this time. There we go. Wow. That is surprisingly a very, very good match. Let's check out the coverage. I do have some dark spots on my neck. So let's try to cover those up. Not bad. Not bad, CC Cream. I'm liking it. Okay, so I think I'm going to stop here. At this point, I'm not very matte. I am getting a little bit of a sheen already, but it's more like a healthy glow, not like an oily shine just yet. But this is not claiming to have a matte finish. It's supposed to have a natural finish, it's supposed to be buildable. So now I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face. And I'm back. So all I really did was add some concealer, some mascara, and some brows. But I also wanted to show you that Thrive Cosmetics has a translucent matte soft focus HD setting powder. So I'm gonna just keep everything in the family and set with this powder as well. While using the Thrive Cosmetics filtered effects all over face brush. It's a really thick, super fluffy brush. It really was white, but I already used it, so that's why it's already a little bit brown. But let's go ahead and use the powder. And it has this little top, and then it has a little, like, net in front of the powder. Tap it on top to get rid of any excess, and let's just set the whole face. Okay, so here is the side of my face with the setting powder, and here is the CC cream all on its own. It does look a lot better on this side, I believe, a lot more matte. Let me set this side of my face. So here's my face now that it is fully set with the Thrive Cosmetics Filtered Effect Soft Focus HD Setting Powder. The setting powder is $35. It's supposed to give that same blur effect technology. It has hyaluronic acid in it, vitamin C, green tea, and this brush is $49. That is a very pricey brush, but a lot of brushes are up there. This brush is vegan and cruelty free. It is very, very soft, but uh, yeah, it's $49. I'm just gonna put that down gently. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and add my final little touches to my face. And now I feel like myself again. So here's the completed look. I kept it pretty natural. I didn't do any liner, no lashes. When I wear a CC cream, it's probably because I'm just about to run out the house. I don't want a super full glam face. It's supposed to be really chill, casual type day. And I did forget to put on a primer. So we're gonna see how this foundation CC cream does without a primer and with just the setting powder. All together, I think my skin looks very smooth. Now, I do think that the powder does help with the whole blurring effect, making my skin look very smooth, not showing too many of my pores or imperfections. Now, it's not claiming to be long lasting. It's not claiming to last up to 24 hours or anything crazy, but I'm still gonna wear it for a couple hours and come back and show you how well it does on my oily skin. So take a good look, because I'll be back in a couple hours. And I'm back. It is now 11 o'clock p.m. And I realized I don't think I told you guys what time it was when I started, but it was 3 o'clock. I got a really late start. So the fact that I even lasted till 11 o'clock is much later than I anticipated, but here I am. That means I've had the CC cream on for a total of 8 hours. But I made a huge, huge mistake. I had the dumb idea to watch This Is Us. Therefore, I cried probably all my CC cream off. <laughs> Don't watch This Is Us when you need to film a CC cream review. I mean, everybody cries during This Is Us. I'm convinced that if you don't cry during This Is Us, you just don't have a soul. Facts. So 
I apologize for my tears. This accidentally became a waterproof test, even though it's not claiming to be. We just kind of threw that test in there, but I don't see any tear marks down my face, so that's a good sign. I am not oily at all. And if anything, I just think that it needed a little bit more coverage. It kind of wore off after a while, but I did wear it for eight hours and cried. So that's a really hard test to pass. But for the sake of it, I'm gonna grab my oil absorbing sheets and I'm gonna blot, but I don't really see any oil to even pick up, but we'll do it. Not much of a difference. Here's the oil, not too bad. I do think I need to try the CC cream again and give it another fair try. So make sure you follow me on Instagram at Ms. Beyond Renee so I can show you in real time on a day that I'm not crying. Since I'm not really concerned about the oiliness, I think if anything, it's just more of the coverage. Like I don't have as much coverage on my cheek anymore. You can see these scars on my neck again. So coverage wise, it's not going to last eight hours, but I would not expect a CC cream to last that long. I would get something that's claiming to be long lasting. So I'm not gonna fault it for not being matte or not lasting a long time because it's not claiming to do so. Overall, I will continue to wear this on a easy just going out day where I don't wanna do a full face of makeup. I do wish it was a little bit cheaper. I am satisfied with their shade range as of now. I'm hoping that they expand just like any other brand that has less than 40 shades. But I will make sure to put all the information for Thrive Cosmetics below in the description box. If you've tried this, please leave me a comment. Let me know how well it worked for you and your skin. And if you enjoy my Foundation Fridays, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, once on Friday and once on Sunday. So I hope to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bianca Renee today.